move it to the P I N Y. Fashion design class on the basketball court? Mysterious. Very. Madam Forbes isn't exactly the sporty type. I bet her basketball shoes have four inch heels. <laughs> <laughs> Enough chitter chatter. Enough. All right, everybody. Enough. You all might be wondering why you're wasting this wonderful day out of class. Ooh! Ooh! There was no question mark at the end of my sentence. Mm. The fashion industry is a competition and a puzzle, so our next assignment will be a competition and a puzzle. <laughs> I love puzzles. Whoa there, Rubik's Cube. Two envelopes have been hidden on campus somewhere. You will split into teams. Find an envelope and return it to me by two o'clock, and you will go on a very exciting trip. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Ooh, ooh! I didn't really mean you could ask a question. Your time is ticking down. Go. We have to come up with a plan. Find the envelope using the least amount of physical and mental effort as possible. Duh. Check. Oh. Oopsie. Oh. Hi, Will. So, any luck finding the envelope? Uh, negative. We're gonna start looking after we perfect our new trick. Check this out. Hmm? Did you find one of the envelopes in there? No, but there's a half a piece of chocolate in my ear. Awesome. <laughs> We've got to find the envelope. There's no way we won't need my search and rescue gear. Ropes, grappling hook, assorted gloves, tongs, flashlight, shovel, and our secret weapon, our Mondo. If he can smell a single leaf of lettuce half a mile away, he could definitely find our envelope. To my data, the odds against teachers hiding a clue in the vending machine is high. I don't care. I'm either finding one of those envelopes or I'm getting a snack. It's a win-win. Oh, Lilith's got it. A teacher hid the envelope, so we have to think like a teacher. She's a fashion design teacher. Aha! The sewing room. Come on, everyone's probably got the same idea. <laughs> Where are you guys? Time's running out to find that envelope. Taking a break. I don't want to try too hard. Try too hard is too hard. Well, I don't want certain other people finding it before we do. Come on. Oh. It's got to be in the sewing room. Meet me in the sewing room. <sighs> We're never going to find it. Time for Operation Armando. Find the envelope, Armando. Mm. 
He found something. That monkey thing? Oh, please. <gasps> Way to go, Armando. <gasps> Give me food. Hmm? All I have is this piece of gum. <clears throat> Give me... Oh. Here, Mr. Monkey Thingy. What are you doing here? I have gum. Delicious, yummy gum. Armando, no! Lemurs can't have gum. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Got it! <laughs> Stealing from a lemur? That's cold-blooded. You can't do that. Really? Because I just did. <laughs> Behold, the Snack Ramp 760. Oh. Sorry. I guess I was still thinking about our envelope getting stolen. That's okay. We can build another one. Hmm. Need some paper. Oh? Huh? Who would tape paper under a vending machine? <gasps> That's the other envelope! Huh? huh. And whoever turns this into Madame Forbes gets to go on a trip? Yes! Huh, Sam, what do you think we should do? Well, we could go on the trip, but it conflicts with our plans to go to Skatapalooza. Yeah. I suppose we could give it to someone who really wants to go, but a trip sounds pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm, Skatapalooza or the trip? The trip or Skatapalooza? Oh, we're just messing with you. We definitely want you guys to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I have to get this to Madame Forbes. <laughs> Congratulations, teams. You may now open your envelopes. Tickets to Paris! Mine has a map to Paris? Both teams will be going to Paris, yeah. where you will design a gown to be auctioned off at the Gala Francaise. Yay! Julia, you will fly together and will have four days to prepare your project. So cool! Michelle, your team will have to find a way to get yourselves to Paris, and hopefully you will get there in time for the auction. Good luck. What? C'est la vie. Fashion is never fair. Hmm. Girls, I call an immediate shopping trip. None of you have anything to wear for Paris. Whee! I can't believe it. I can't either. We're going to Paris! Michelle? Huh? How? How are we getting to Paris? Wait. I might know a way we can all go. And maybe for free. Time to call mom and dad. Oh, sorry, Michelle. It is cool. Oh yeah, really cool. Look, it may not be comfortable, but it is cool. Think about it. We're going to design and show a piece in Paris. Lilith, I can't believe your dad's <gasps> company is sending a plane to France. They send planes to France all the time. Wait, why are we stopping in Oslo? Isn't that in Norway? Everybody say, France! 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 Lucky for you, I have a boatload of anchovies to take to France. Yeah, we're real lucky. Paris, here we come.
it to the P I N Y. Pour hot fudge all over it and eat it. Ooh, you would be so bloated. Good point. Maybe I could just lick it. You know what I like most about Paris? Those low budget indie girls, whatevers, aren't here yet. <laughs> They're probably still in New York holding a bake sale to get enough money to find a way over here. Welcome to France, girls. That doesn't look like the city of light. It isn't. That's the city of goats. Paris is hours from here. No! We're still hours away from Paris? Yes! We're only hours away from Paris! Way to ruin our selfie. You know what's worse than a mime? A sarcastic mime. Hey, if you don't talk, then you shouldn't, like, you know, walk. Huh? Is he mean miming me? Come along, girls. Busy day. I heard that. Welcome to the PINY du Paris. While our New York campus is chic, our French campus is très chic. Ooh la la. Soon, this hall will be filled with the elite of the French fashion world for the Gala Francaise, the biggest charity event of the season. Wait, doesn't charity mean, like, uh, helping other people? Ew. Your challenge, design a gown to be auctioned off at the gala. Whichever gown raises the most money wins. We have to visit this boutique. Yeah, and this one. Oh, Ew. yes. But first, we must definitely visit the Moulin Rouge. I can't wait. <clears throat> yeah. Girls, moving on. You must find everything yourselves. A place to work, materials, everything. Go. Oh. Did she say go? As in, go shopping? I think she did. <laughs> I love the smell of Paris. Not sure that's Paris you're smelling. I'm gonna need to sit on a pillow for a few days. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? I lost it when the goat ate my new suitcase. <gasps> There's Madame Forbes. Giddy up. <laughs> Guess it only speaks French. Madame Forbes, we made it. How original. We're ready to get started. As I instructed the other mm. girls. <gasps> huh? A whole gown? For an auction? And we have to find all the materials? And a place to work? Okay, okay. How hard can this be? <laughs> Perhaps I should rephrase. Mime! We're here 20 minutes and you killed a mime? I can mime him back to life. Maybe he can help us.
two-week mime camp last summer. This or this? Hmm. In the first one, your eyes are more like whatever, but in the second, they're more like I care. This is gonna sound weird, but shouldn't we be actually working? <gasps> Dory, watch your language. <gasps> we have loads of time. You're right. <laughs> Did I just see those indie girls in an invisible car? Think you've had too many croissants. Wow, cool. Voila. You talk? This is our artist loft. You're welcome to work here while you're in Paris. That's mm. Henri, Jacques, <laughs> and Marie. Hi. Marie is a student at PINY Paris. Are you the students from New York? I can't wait to see what your design looks like. Neither can we. Gown of wasted ideas. Huh? Pretty interesting, right? Face it, we got nothing. Maybe we should just mime a dress. Okay, people, time for a pep talk. And it gets worse. We may not have any time. We may not have any supplies. We may not have any ideas. We may not have even one tiny clue as to what we're oh, doing. This pep talk stinks. Mm. But by Chanel's pearls, we have grit. We have determination. We have ponchos. Ponchos. <laughs> ponchos. Ooh. <gasps> ah. No one makes a better gown than Jean Le Jean. Except for us, when we win the auction. Guys, mm -hmm. we're sort of running out of time to make a gown to, like, win the auction. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Follow me. Mm. Hmm. I think we've got it. That is so mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> Whoa, there are a lot of people out there. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your gown mm -hmm. is even uglier than I imagined it would be. In case you were wondering, this is what a winning gown looks like. It's pretty in an off-the-rack kind of way. Girls, mm -hmm. we're about to begin. Ah. <sighs> Madames, messieurs, bidding will now start on these two... Uh, uh, different creations. This lovely <laughs> Asian dress. <gasps> and... Uh, and this other one. <clears throat> we have the results of the auction. The bids for the pink chiffon total 5,450 euros. Ah! And the bids, excuse me, bid for the other gown total 75 euros. <coughs> Sorry, only winners allowed on stage. Oh. 
We can never go back to school again. Ever. I can't get those gloating girls' faces out of my head. It could have been worse. Hmm? And when I think of how, I'll let you know. You won't believe it. Marie, hmm? what happened? The other girls. They're gone, disqualified. Huh? to the P I N Y We can never go back to school again, ever. I can't get those gloating girls' faces out of my head. It could have been worse. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. I think of how, I'll let you know. You won't believe it. Huh. What now, Maggie? The other girls, they're gowned, disqualified. They cheated. Huh? You are not going to believe what happened after you left the gala. You mean after our souls were ripped to bloody bits and humiliating defeat? Hmm? So I'm still a teeny bit crabby. Right after you guys left... Those other girls were acting like they had just won the Nobel Peace Prize when suddenly... Uh, that's my dress! Chloe Beaufort, heiress to the Beaufort cheese fortune, accuses them of copying her dress. It's my dress! Chloe's twin sister, hmm? Zoe Beaufort, accuses them of stealing her dress. No! They copied my dress! You copied my dress! <gasps> How dare you! <gasps> How dare you! <clears throat> and that was just the beginning. Getting hit by everything. It it was a mess. Girls, girls, stop this at once. Then Laurent Parfait, who designed the twins' dresses, walked on stage and that is my dress. Turns out, those girls bought one of Lohan Parfait's dresses and tried to pass it off as their own design. Hold on, Mime. You were there the whole time. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, sometimes I forget I can talk. But that's not the best part. Oh. Incredible! All of the food stains slid right off of your gown. Everyone was impressed. It's all they talked about for the rest of the night. Ooh. Wow. Mm. You've exaggerated just a touch, right? <laughs> yeah, a little. I would pay to see Julia's face right now. Make that ten leopard print belts. Does she always shop like this when she's angry? I once saw her buy the entire contents of the shoe store after she got second place in the gymnastics meet. Mm. I can't believe I lost to, 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 to her! Do I look like I could lose a design contest to someone who thinks a dress you can wipe onion dip off of is chic? Do I? You mean like the ones we sold out of this morning? Shh. Sold out? Sorry, they're so popular suddenly. Everyone wants one. Do you want me to order one for you? 
No, I do not! I can't stand it! Michelle has to suffer like we did. At least we weren't the only ones to suffer. Those cheese Harrises totally embarrassed themselves. Yes, they did, didn't they? I'll bet they'd like to get back into the spotlight in a good way. Everybody's wearing the same jacket. Of course it's beautiful. What about the dog? Ah! I got this blue one. You and everybody else. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ah. Your Ooh. dress is an overnight hit. Everybody's wearing some version of it. Stores are selling it, and look! This is Hélène Hélène, the most popular street style vlogger in Paris. You can rub a whole chocolate cake onto this dress. And rinse it right off. How chic is that? You're famous. Do you think we'll be on a talk show? Sometimes I practice in the mirror with different voices. Heel, lassie. <laughs> no one's asking for your autograph yet. Yeah. Huh? There's sort of this whole school thing we've got to get back to. We're famous fashion designers in Paris. So if you and Zoe do this teensy favor for us, you'll be back in the fashion limelight. I promise. The twins are in. Michelle will not be going back to school a winner. Now, just one more call. Madam Forbes, we need to see you right away. Oh, maybe it's a talk show. Hello, this is the fashion designer, Michelle. May I answer your inquiry? Slick. <laughs> yes, Madam Forbes, of course. We'll be right over. Oh? Maybe she wants to get our autographs. There I was, sitting at a bistro, staring at what I'm fairly certain was the back of Christian Louboutin's head, and I have to come here and deal with you. Pretty sure she doesn't want our autograph. Julia! Yes, Madam Forbes? Your team mm. cheated. Well, I would call it being overly influenced. Influenced? Nice try. Oh. Michelle. Ready to rock, madame. Your dress is surprisingly well-liked and repels unsightly splotches. I'm going to take that as a compliment. But something has been brought to my attention that I cannot ignore. Julia? Chloe! Zoe! The cheese heiresses? I hope you don't mind. We brought our cameraman to document this for our pictogram. Chloe and I just wanted to let you know and all of our amazing social media followers... Hi! No, that we totally discovered that dress in, uh... Mm -hmm. Greece. Ah. Oh, right! Greece! We were the ones that found the dress in Greece. So, yeah. This is a very serious accusation. Michelle, mm -hmm. did your team steal this dress? <gasps> no! This is a total lie. We designed this dress ourselves. <gasps> I'm offended. Why would I lie? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you can't handle going back a complete loser. Michelle, can you prove that you designed this dress? Hmm? Yes, uh, I can prove it. Yellow. Hi, Captain. Do you remember me? Oh, yes. I dropped you and your friends off in the City of Goats. Did you make it to Paris? Ugh, City of Goats? Seriously, Madame Forbes, I don't know what Michelle is trying to pull. Captain, but... oh. this is Madame Forbes. Can you hold your phone out so she can see your rain, Poncho? <laughs> Very interesting. Now it's rain ponchos? Really, I think we've had enough. 
See? The captain's rain poncho gave us the idea for the dress design. We didn't steal anything. You didn't get any of that last part, did you? I already posted it. Au revoir, Perry. Au revoir, Maggie. Bon voyage, Julia. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>